can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three match Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wide. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. fight and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him today. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest and he loves it and he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate. Herb Dean, our referee for this show. Right. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Body shot there. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, nice kick. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Get those combinations going. Oh. Another leg kick land. Just missed with the left there. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Frantic pace early on to this one. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. What a nasty kick that was thrown with ill intent. Oh! Just over three minutes to go round one. Good stick. The right hand just misses. Takedown defense is there. Nice. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the bottom. Oh! Leg kick. Oh, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Now goes to the uppercut. Beautiful body kick. Just over two minutes to go.
Looking to set up a knee of his own. Out of range with that one. Straight right hand, no good. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. He's got the turtle in that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. All right, gets inside, gets the single power time here. Straight right, and he misses. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh, big left hook there. Ooh, another shot to the head. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ah. Round two next. All right, that's the end of the round. Some significant damage done, or so it appears. The fighter's got a cut above his eye from that round. Cut man going to earn his money here. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. That is a damaging kick that land. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Back to the overhand right, not there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Looking to land the right just out of range. He's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Now a kick to the body. Attempt. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter. He's back oh. shot on the Don, drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You 
can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace of uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well, until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. 90 seconds to go in the round. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Hands going from the clinch, and there's a nasty shot from there. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. But his opponent has the power that he possesses. It's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Hard shots landing on both sides here. John, you got to just go forward and let everything fly. It's there, take down. 20 seconds left. Smart. 15 seconds to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Ruben. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trying to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter for better in between rounds. Nice job by the defensive fighter. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good shot, good shot. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. As effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the end of the situation. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters are both in damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. left by 
Ali. Barwell, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness, and yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thought. He's having to rely on it once again. It's become his calling card. And when you are known to be tough, that's a problem. You gotta be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight, because if it continues to play out the way that it has to this point, he's gonna get finished. Oh, big head kick there! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Well, he's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Rips the body shot there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Straight right is there. Good body shot. Oh, another kick right on the cap. Now, I'd tap out, but I'm not a fighter. What do you do? I mean, there's not much you can do now. You gotta just bite down on the mouthpiece and get through it, because right now, you won't change much. It's already beat up too far. It's work. You did a great job setting up that high kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Thirty seconds to go now. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of the fight. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Yes. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he lands that tee. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot.
great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. It's starting to get to a point where you got to keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. point it seems as though it is toughness that is carrying him through his thigh is mangled I'm not sure how much he can take he, he won't be able to take much more J.A. this fight's pretty much over I understand that he's gonna switch his stance but then he'll switch back I understand that he's gonna try and defend but it's too late everything that lands from this point forward is gonna be so damaging that it will ultimately lead to this fight being finished Circling to his right. Come on, let's work. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. He lands a solid punch there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice head kick. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful kick. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, and he found the target again. Back to the body shots now. That one plus. Tough to take down, no problem. He can't even, he can barely stand. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, uh, good work with the jab there. One minute to go in the round. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh! Back to his feet. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh! Went for the inside leg kick. There's the end of the round. What a fight we've got, man. I mean, multiple knockdowns. And how about the beard on that one fight, huh? How is, how is Ray even still standing? I don't know. How is he still standing? How is he still eating these strikes like Skittles? I mean, this dude should be out. Most people in the world would be done. But he continues to press forward and continues to fight. It is unreal to witness. Ready to fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice counter. Yes. 
he gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Uh, heavy body kick lands. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, slips him and rips him. How about the upper body movement there? And doing work with the jab. There, huge block for him. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it feels to be the total fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Attempts the front kick there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Big right hand. Oh, the high kick lands. Landed a solid punch there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and... He's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Man, this is getting harder to watch with every calf kick that lands. I'm not sure if the team should throw in the towel, maybe the referee get involved, but seems like the outcome here is an eventuality. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision because this fighter is as tough as they come. He will never quit on himself. He'll keep trying, but sometimes you gotta save the athlete from themselves. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, nice. is any indication mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, he thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a work, guys, credit to him to still even be fighting, but he's got to do something different if he has any chance of winning this fight. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. I get an invite to the after party. <laughs>